Respect of human rights is important because human rights are inherent in everyone. So respecting those rights is just a basic requirement for the security forces. Our mission is to work with the Afghan National Defense and Security Forces to help them better align their efforts, their operations, with the rule of law, to incorporate the rule of law into everything they do. My background coming, as, coming into this position as the Director of Essential Function 3 is 30 years as a Judge Advocate General, an Army Attorney, and on, as a civilian practitioner of law, 17 years as a federal prosecutor of corruption and uh, in the U.S. antitrust crimes. Those experiences, along with the last three years I've spent in a general counsel's office of a federal agency, have acquainted me with how ministries run, federal agencies run, and how corruption takes place and effective ways to counter that corruption. Obviously, we have to continue to focus on having the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Interior put procedures in place to hold those who commit corruption, those who violate international uh, laws and obligations, hold them accountable. TAC West is associated with four provinces out in western Afghanistan. Security situation is actually uh, coming along well. The Afghan partners, particularly the 207th Corps, has made uh, tremendous progress over the last year or so. Historically, this tends not to be a very violent area, so it gives them an opportunity for extra training, and, and they're doing well. Well, Italy is supporting Resolute Support Mission here. The main uh, task that we have is to train, advise, and assist our Afghan counterparts. The Italians did a number of great things to accommodate the withdrawal of the Spanish troops. They brought in an Italian Roll 2 hospital. They brought in extra security personnel. Camp Arena, the place where they're based, is as secure as ever, providing all the same services. And we just got a recent commitment by the Italian government that they, they intend to maintain this strength and have added 200 troops to what we had here in, uh, in 2015 for all of 2016. What I hope for the future of this country is to be able to become a real partner, able to take care of his own future, of his own destiny, and uh, for economic development uh, to happen in this country.